It's good that you're here. Yeah, we're still talking about Venn diagrams, and I showed you that a Venn diagram is nothing more than a way to represent information or data. Yeah, but there are some typical language involved, and uh, all the language you can see here, if you can see it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to look at an example um, uh, to explain this language. I'll do it in two videos. I'm going to do the half now, and the rest of it in the next video. Okay, so I prepared this for you, where I have. The universal set, yeah, and then I have two sets in it, set A and set B. And a set is nothing more than just a group of objects and symbols. Now what do I have in set A? I have odd numbers. And what do I have in set B? I have some prime numbers. And I have also some numbers floating around it, alright? Now of course I know there are more odd numbers and more uh, numbers that could be here. But I've just chosen a few of them, okay? Now, the first notation you should be familiar with is this one. And this means the number of elements in set A. And the answer to that is, how many pieces of information, uh, how many elements do I have in set A? I have one, two, three, four of them. So the answer is four. Uh, I could also say, and B, how many elements do I have in set B? I have one, two, three, so the answer would be three, okay? So that is the first yeah, notation you should be familiar with, the number of elements in a particular set, okay? And the second piece of information you should be familiar, or a notation you should be familiar with, is the following. 33 is an element of A. So we use this typical, let's say, ancient Greek E, or maybe they still use it, yeah? And two is an element of B, okay? Which means that the number two is inside set B. And simultaneously, you can say that two is not an element of A. So you put a little cross through it, yeah? Or four, is not an element of B. Okay, so we have the number of elements. Yeah, what is an element? An element is just a piece of information. So two is an element of B, yeah? And two is not an element of A. It's not inside the set of A. The next one, and I will continue here, and I'm almost finished for this video, is A and then the little apostrophe. And that's an important one. That means the complement of set A. And that is actually everything outside of A. So what is outside of A? That is the number two, eight, and four. Yeah, so I could say two, four, and eight. Because those are my, uh, my elements outside of A. Yeah, it's the complement set of A. Okay, then I have another one, and that's the last one for now, that is an empty set. Now let's say I have another set, let's say set C, which are all the numbers, yeah, and let's say bigger than two and a prime, and even, I should have said all even numbers bigger than two and a prime, anyway, a prime, even bigger than two, yeah? and you know that two is the only even prime number, right? So I have this set C, yeah, let me just put it here, yeah, set C, and C is empty, there's nothing inside, why? Because there are not even numbers bigger than two, which are also a prime, yeah? And then the notation for that is C is empty, okay? That means that there is no element in set C. It is empty. All right. So a couple of very uh, important notations already. The number of elements, yeah, 33 is an element of A, or 2 is not an element of A. The complement set of A, which means everything outside of A, and uh, we have spoken about the empty set. Okay, go to my next video where I will continue with the remaining notation, which is important for you to understand Venn diagrams. Yeah, and check my site, explainingmouse.com or find me on Facebook to ask me your questions. All right, I'll see you later.